Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today at Stamp on the Go, it's this one it's a very uh, Thanksgiving card, very quick, simple card to do. The tank uh, full was from a hostess set called um, Six Sing in the holiday catalog. But we this time for our Stamp on the Go, we're just going to be using the a corny thank you i think that's the way you say it this uh, stamp and that is on page 45 of the holiday catalog and it come in a bundle with the matching punch so i'm going to show you a few tips uh, with this so what we're going to start it's with uh, the acorn I'm going to show you, even if it's stamp on the go, I'm going to show you a few tips for it. So let's say you just want to, you can have it separately. You can have it all together or you can have it separately. If you want it uh, separately, let's start with the bottom here. That's the one that I like to start with. So, and I did some different color and I like to have the crumb cake in the bottom. So let's stamp a few so then I can show you uh, the difference. And then I'm gonna do one there. So let's say that you get a few that you stamp. I'm gonna show you that you have to, and then for the top, I just line them up right on top there, see? So that way you can have just one. Like for Stamp on the Go, I try to make it, you know, separate. And then I'm going to put one right there. So when you start punching, you cannot start over here. Because if you start over there, see, you're going to ruin that one. So you start on the left. And then you would punch this out. And then you would go to the other one. See how simple this is? So now even if that is there, it's already punched your air corn there, so it won't matter. So it matched perfect. Now if you want to do it layer, or oh, this one I was way off. If you want to do layer, then, oops, I should have it on the other side so I don't waste my paper. So here it is. I would punch just the bottom here like this and then I would come here to do the top and this one here I would mount this one with a piece of dimensional in the back so it's raised up a bit this way so you get your perfect match so that's the way you want to do it raised up. Today we're going to use just a single one. Now, um, I thought just one stamp set was not enough. And this again, it's the note card. Yes, I'm a big fan of note cards. It comes with envelope and it's already pre-score. Just fold it. Use the bone folder. Now, this one, like I said, stamp on the go, I want just to use less than possible. So we're going to put dropping in to say hi instead of tank full. So we're going to use this. And the greeting, we're going to use it in old olive. Um, did I say it's hello honey for the top, the yellow there. And the bottom was crumb cake on crumb cake. I'm going to put that right here. Voila. Now I felt if I put that right here, I felt that it was missing something. So um, I took the gorgeous grunge. Like I said, I use that a lot of time for my uh, backing. I'm looking for a scrap paper. So you know me, I need to forget at least one thing. If not, it wouldn't be normal. So I just keep this folded and and I didn't ring. See, I keep on going. Now I'm going to use a dimensional. Put that in the back of this. And put this right there. And then I thought, oh, let's add one little bow. So I'm using the linen thread. 
I keep it on the spool so this way you use less. Just do a tiny little bow. Just a regular bow. Oops, I have to see where my loop is. Okay, I think I'm camera shy there. What's the matter? Usually I can whip those bow in no time. I did about 50 of them last night in no time. Just tie this good. We're going to cut. So I just cut after it's done so that way it use less. I use my uh, fine tip tip glue. Do a little dot there. You don't have to squeeze a lot of that. It's go very quick. Take the fine needle, put it right in the Usually I use my finger. Is it in? Yeah. Here we go. Take my bow. Et voila, my friend. You get a quick and easy card for Thanksgiving. Inside, we can do the acorn again. I would put sideway and a little acorn there. And while you get this out, you might as well do your envelope with your acorn too. Well, where's my envelope? Right here. I would take this, put that in the corner. And right there. Voila, my friend. You get your quick and easy card for uh, Thanksgiving or anytime because it's a dropping in to say ah, oh, it can be for anything with the ear corn for fall. Thank you so much. And again, all the product going to be listed on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. And um, if you get any question, you can email me right there from my blog. Thank you so much and have a great day, my friends.